What is methane? In this video, I will talk about methane from a lay person's point of view, that is, a non-scientific person. Methane is a gas whose chemical formula is CH4. Each methane molecule contains one carbon and four hydrogen atoms. It is a common fuel source and is the main component of natural gas. We can find methane below ground and under the sea floor. When it seeps from the ground into the atmosphere, we call it atmospheric methane. As methane is relatively abundant, it is a very popular fuel globally. However, it is also a powerful greenhouse gas. Greenhouse gases absorb and emit radiation within the thermal infrared range. They help keep the surface of a planet, including its atmosphere, warm. We call this warming process the greenhouse effect. Methane contributes to the greenhouse effect. Some years ago, environmentalists and other scientists began to worry about methane. If we let more and more of it get into our atmosphere, it will absorb more and more of the sun's heat. This concern regarding methane and the other greenhouse gases has now spread to lawmakers and the general population. Methane emissions may come from leaky gas pipes and agricultural livestock, in other words, from animal farts. Methane versus carbon dioxide. Regarding overall greenhouse gas emissions today, is methane as important as carbon dioxide? Methane doesn't linger for as long in the atmosphere as carbon dioxide. However, it absorbs the sun's heat much more effectively, making it a major greenhouse gas. Methane is up to 80 times more potent than carbon dioxide during the first 20 years after being released into the atmosphere. Carbon dioxide, however, matters more over the long term. If you look at this graph, the growth of methane in the atmosphere from 1980 to 1999 was quite steep. From the end of the last century until 2006, methane's atmospheric burden was about constant. However, since 2007, it has been rising again. In the short term, this increase is worrying because, as I mentioned earlier, methane absorbs heat up to 80 times more efficiently than carbon dioxide during its first 20 years in the atmosphere. 